Hello Geminis. You can hear in the background that um, outside the council people are doing the, the garden and um, you know it is what it is. Um, I hope it's not super loud but I have to record this. I have a busy month ahead so I record it whenever I can and I cannot choose literally oftentimes when I can actually do this so I'm doing it now and I hope that the, the volume um, will get less if that makes sense right anyway anyway Gemini this is your September 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak you're watching Thomas's tarot page please like subscribe and share and if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas what we will do here we will divide the reading into three sections so we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then go into your emotional core see what can go um, um, with regards to sort of older pain and trauma or whether or not there's love coming in or anything to be said about um, your emotional and romantic side of things before we then lastly go and look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September. Speaking of opportunities, I'm just putting something here in the, uh, in, on the screen. This is the Kickstarter I talked to you about. Um, as you probably recall, I collaborated with my friend L.M. Cook on a really beautiful um, oracle card deck called Fauna, Lessons from Spirit Animal Guides. And um, now the Kickstarter is on. Uh, Kickstart uh, events only last for about um, two months. And we started it on August 1st. So you have about, um, if you watch this early September, have about a month to pledge so please 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 um there are certain different options that you can pledge um to get your card deck and we only can actually bring it to fruition where, uh, when the kickstarter event um comes into fruition so I, I got a few cards here just want to show this to you just in case you are not quite sold on the idea yet this is how they will look right also they will have rounded corners uh, this is just a, a printout um, that I had done so we know what they look like. Right? There's the panther, the wolf, and that obviously is what is on one side of the cards. And very likely this is going to be the um, the cover, uh, if that makes sense. Anyway, I hope you like the cards. Please, please, please. The link to the Kickstarter event is in the description box. And like I said, we would really love uh, to... to um, turn this collaboration collaboration into reality. So please, please, please support this. Um, and also it's gonna be a bloody awesome deck. <laughs> anyway, so let's have a look at your overall energy first. Um, see what, what the guides have, have got to say to you in the month of September. Remember Gemini, these are general readings. They may not necessarily resonate with all of you, uh, but uh, obviously I do hope it does. Okay, so this is quite a um, bit of a heavier energy for Gemini this month. This is about um, feeling and looking into what worries you have with regards to loved ones. How do they feel? If that makes sense, um, maybe you're going through changes and you're thinking about maybe moving on, leaving a partner behind, having to move with a, with a child, whatever this is. Um, the point they're making is, should you be worried? about your so-called unit. The universe knows who, you know, who lives with you becomes your unit. And uh, they attempt at all times to keep all of them safe. And this is exactly what the guides are saying to you at this point in time in September. Worries do not work. You and your loved ones are safe, right? So just have trust, but also because it comes up as, oh, I, I, you know, it, it can be all sorts of scenarios, but what I'm getting is, is sort of different scenarios for, for that matter. So one is that scenario that someone is, is leaving and thinking like, how, how will the kids take it if I actually go through the divorce, that kind of stuff. And then at the same time, they show me hospital beds. So, you know, um, will they get better? Um, will they pass over? So a lot of weird, not weird, but um, because you can't control them to the, to the universe, it, it becomes almost inconsequential how you feel about it. The point they're making is trust that everything works out the way it is supposed to. Because what you got here as well as your overall energy, Geminis, is to work through your fears. Now, it is interesting 
because as a as a star sign Gemini you are also known as the twin and oftentimes that means that the twin is sort of missing it oftentimes is depicted as um, the little voice inside your head that tells you you know don't panic it's all gonna be okay is sometimes absent and what I'm hearing here for you Gemini is to not give in to being super stressed about um, things that you cannot control that have to do with with the people that are very close to you right so that was quite specific for a general reading so I hope it, it resonates with you now we're looking at you into your uh, um, emotional core and let's see what they got here okay now with regards to your emotions this is again it go it goes on from the from my feeling of I'm 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 letting something go and I'm and I'm moving towards something new hopefully and now is the time for healing in September month number nine nine is the number of completion now if you feel like I have all that pain sitting inside me right reach out there's a lot of therapies that can help you um, with uh, emotional emotional turmoil or trauma there's tons of stuff out there that you could be looking at invest in yourself get help if you feel that what you need <coughs> because what the guides are saying is regards to your emotions rather than explaining yourself to anybody or overthinking it is time for healing that's all they're asking you disregard whatever work you feel you have to put in into relationship right if this is about relationship for you it's time for healing reflect on how you truly feel and if there's stuff that you feel like oh my god I'm, I'm, I, I keep manifesting the same types of issues right for instance time for healing my feeling is for you to to um, actually invest in yourself and understand that stuff that you have been carrying with you for some time is not just leaving you and maybe you you ought to look at um, getting help removing what is now ready to leave you right lastly let's look at opportunities now what the guides are saying is hold your vision what that means is opportunities are big words the universe needs to know what you want to manifest so be sort of focused on what it is you want don't manifest 10 different things right and trust what you manifest don't just try, you know manifest it one day and then tomorrow you change the way you look at it hold your vision focus on what it is you would like to get you would like to achieve keep focusing hold your vision and first and foremost trust that it will happen manifestation will always or oftentimes take a little bit of time because the energy has to flow first if that makes sense but the point is if you're all over the place it's going to be much harder for you to um, get any opportunities come your way that ultimately will make sense anyway dear Gemini that's all we have time for please remember to like subscribe and share it does 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 help the channel and please have a look at the um, the link to the Kickstarter and hopefully you will come aboard and um, with a little luck we will get that deck done um, and I believe in that deck really strongly it's really beautiful um, so um, yeah fingers crossed and thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share so that you will be here um, next month okie dokie see you later guys